sorry I'm backlit. It's morning, it's about eight o'clock. My husband's sleeping in my room where I normally shoot, so I couldn't shoot in there. And I'm also having to try to be a little bit quiet. So I'm sorry about the crazy camera this morning. Um, I totally overslept, I should have gotten up earlier, but I stayed up a little late. I watched this movie called Annihilation, and it's got, um, oh, what's her name? Anyway, I don't remember the actress's name right now because I just woke up and I haven't had my coffee yet. But, oh my gosh, is that movie a trippy movie. Like, I don't do scary movies. That movie has some very scary parts, but it's not the kind of scary that bothers me. Like, science fiction scary doesn't scare me. It's the haunted house demon type things that scares me and makes me see things at night when I'm trying to sleep. So... So I don't mind the kind of scary that was in this movie, but oh my gosh, was that a trippy movie. I am 90% sure whoever made that movie was doing like LSD or psilocypes like the entire time, but they had a very bad trip when they did that <laughs> because they came up with some truly terrifying shit. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I enjoyed it thoroughly, and I don't typically like scary movies, so anyway, that was good. But that, that gave me some good, um, actually inspiration for certain scenes that I have in my, in my book, even though I'm not doing any of the weird, crazy mutant animals or anything like that. Although now I kind of feel like I want to, because I feel like if these comets mutated people, they had to have mutated some anim animals too. Anyway, um... <laughs> Anyway, it gave me some, some good inspiration, so I'm going to try to get some writing in because I actually finished yesterday at about 500 words short of what I should have because I spent too much time making my video about playlists and um, doing other things. So I'm going to do some word sprints this morning. I'm going to couple my word sprints with cleaning up some of this mess because my kitchen, like you can't see it, but there's a ton of dishes inside the sink and I need to clean them. Um, I also desperately need to get laundry done because we have no towels left in the house and I'm also out of clothes to wear. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing 20 minute word sprints uh, coupled with like 10 minute breaks that are me doing chores and we'll see how many words we can get done and caught up on. Okay, so I just finished one 20 minute word sprint and I got 517 words done. So I think I'm pretty much caught up for the words that I was short yesterday but I, I haven't gotten any words done for what's due today. And I had really hoped to get ahead this weekend, so I'm going to do some dishes, and uh, I've already got a load of laundry going, so I'm kind of doing a, a chore circuit along with my writing today. Um, but I'm gonna do some dishes, and then I'm gonna do another 20 minute word sprint and see where I'm at. And see if I can get another at least 500 words done there that would take care of almost a third of what I need to do today. And, and keep going and hopefully I can get ahead or at very least get done with what I need to get done today. But I still need to go to work and do like four hours of overtime at least uh, sometime today. So we will see what happens and I will check back in shortly. All right, I just did a load of dishes and I haven't done my second word sprint yet. I just did some math though to try to figure out how many words I need to get done if I wanna get all my words done for today and try to get a day ahead by the end of the day. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Um, so if I want to get to the end of today's and be at where I'm supposed to be, which is like 30,000 and a couple of spare words, um, I have to do 1,675 words. So I have to do about twice that much. So about 3,200 and then some. Actually, it would probably be more like 3,300 by that point. Uh, if I wanna get a day ahead by the end of the day, I mean, on top of the 517 I've already done. So, I don't know, that would be breaking my record for the amount of words done in one day, because I think the most I've ever done in one day is like 3,200. So, we will see, we're gonna try. I'm gonna do another 20 minute word sprint. We're gonna try to pound this out and uh, get it done. All right, so I actually just did a 10 minute word sprint, and I think I'm more productive on 10 minute word sprints. I think 20 minutes is too long, and I feel like I've got all this time, and I end up wasting time thinking about sentences. So. On the 10 minute word sprint, I did 459 words, which is less than 100 words less than what I did on a 20 minute word sprint. So I think I'm gonna stick to 10 minute ones because I seem to be more productive on those. Um, anyway, that puts me at 976 words so far for the day. Uh, so I'm making a good dent in the word count so far. Um, 
I think I've got about a thousand more words to be up to par and then I'll be going from there. I'm going to do another load of dishes and then do another 10 minute word sprint. By then it ought to be time to transfer laundry. All right, finished my dishes, thank goodness. Uh, so those are finally cleaned up. No more wreck on the counter. That one thing you see on the counter is uh, my tea strainer. Anyway, um, I did that. I did another 10 minute word sprint and I only got 322 words done this time, but that was largely because I got to the end of a scene and I couldn't remember what was next on my outline. So I had to look at that and that took several minutes out of my word sprint. So I'm still making lots of progress. I'm at 1,298 words so far for the day. So we're, we're getting there. Um, I think I'm going to go down, transfer laundry, do one more 10 minute word sprint, and then I've got to go to work and try to get my overtime in. While I'm at work, I will try to get at least 500 words in. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna set my goal for 600 words while I'm at work. Uh, I might try dictating into my phone while I'm driving, but I, like I mentioned previously in a different video, I have this problem where when I'm dictating, I have to watch it dictating. So I probably won't be able to do that. We will see. Maybe I can do it like when I'm at stoplights and I'm waiting for other cars to go or something. Um, but I wanna drive safe, so I might just completely put a kibosh on that plan, but we'll see. I'll let you know how that goes and I'll check back in with you shortly when I have more words on the page. All right, I've hit the daily word count goal. Um, I'm at 1,676 words so far for the day, uh, but I need to still make up about 500 from yesterday to be up to par, but I'm getting very close. Now I have to go to work, so I'm gonna try to get um, at least up to par by the time I leave work today. If I can do that, that would be great, and then I can spend the rest of the evening trying to get ahead on my word count like I had planned. So with that, we're making some progress, making progress, making bacon progress. Uh, all right, I will check back with you later. I'm gonna go ahead and get this video up now because it's starting to get pretty long. And then any other words that I get done later today, I will get up in later videos. All right, I will see you later. I hope everybody gets their word counts in today.